today I wanted to show you how to begin the sculpting process when you're basically starting any mesh because this is basically what I do every single time and I thought I should show you guys. Alright, so to begin you delete the cube from the scene um, and then in object mode you press shift A you go to empty and image. Now in this image file um, you click over here on the right hand side there's like this weird three pronged shape um, and you press open and you navigate to the file with your image alright and once you have this you go to view and front because uh, when you do the mirror modifier you want to make sure you're looking at it from the right angle and that your image is from the right angle so you rotate on X and then I type in 90 and it's standing up right, 90 degrees. You scale it to whatever size you want your model to be. Make sure to keep it tidy. And I like to center it. Alright, so from this point, um, I like to switch into orthographic camera because it's just a hell of a lot easier to see things. And I press Shift A, still in object mode, mesh, and then cylinder. Now before you do anything else, change the vertice number to 6, or whatever you'd like it to be, um, because you won't get the chance later. I like to work in 6 because I feel like even numbers tend to work out better for low poly, but that's just a personal preference. Alright, now go over to this wrench-shaped icon, which are your modifiers, and add a mirror modifier. Now it won't work in object mode, um, but once you go switch into edit mode, you'll be able to pull them apart and shrink them down. Um, and then you just kind of adjust it to be in the spot that your legs are. I like to start from the bottom just because it, I don't know, it feels more cohesive to me. Um, if you want to change the size of these cubes, go back into object mode and press scale. Uh, the different modes kind of control different things, so it's really good to learn what each does. And then there you go. You're all ready to start.